Hello and a warm welcome to this video on what is astral travel. Astral travel can be defined as the belief in or experience of disembodied consciousness, such as the astral body moving into other non-physical realms, such as the astral plane. Other terms used are astral projection, mind projection, or OBE, out-of-body experience. From what I have experienced, to be able to astral travel, one has to develop, expand and rewire both hemispheres of the brain in a correct manner so that they can coordinate correctly. This is because such activity occurs on the fourth dimensional consciousness and upwards, logic being the third dimension. The right hemisphere of the brain is the active astral aspect, whilst the logical left records and memorizes what information is related to it from the astral right hemisphere. For me, I experience astral travel as an out-of-body experience that occurs through the activity of the three higher chakras, whilst being truly grounded by the root chakra. During astral travel, I am consciously aware of what is occurring and what I am experiencing because the left brain is rewired into the experience. But it is predominantly the right hemisphere of the brain that guides and coordinates the astral activity. In this respect, you may have a specific area that you may wish to explore, or you may allow universal consciousness to guide you to wherever it wants you to be in order to gain greater knowledge. Remote viewing is a good example of how astral travel can be used on the physical plane, which has, and I am sure, still is being used by certain organizations. This is because remote viewing can be used to go into a specific area, such as a room, anywhere on the planet, to gain insight or information of what is taking place there, which depends on how powerful the psychic person is. There are a number of ways in which I can and do astral travel, but it must be said that I use this ability with great respect, and I do not intrude upon anyone's privacy. For example, on an earth level, I astral travel when I give distant healing sessions, which is just like being physically next to a person in normal circumstances. When there, I can read their energy and see where certain blocks or lack of flow may be in order to heal it. After which, I relay the insight I have had back to the person via the phone or Skype. I ask for travel when I want to look at or explore something specific on Earth, which is a form of remote viewing. I ask for travel when I seek guidance from universal consciousness, which can take me to where it may emanate in the cosmos, be it in another galaxy, star system or universe. But I must strongly say that astral travel is a procedure that requires specific knowledge and correct discipline 
in order to enhance its power correctly. If you have any questions regarding this subject, please get in touch with me via the link provided. Thank you for watching and listening. Love and light, love changes.